the apostles were not the first witnesses to the resurrection, and this book proves it. What you ask is this book? It's the New Testament. All four Gospels tell us that the disciples did not discover the empty tomb or were the first witnesses to see the risen Jesus. All four tell us that women were the first witnesses of the resurrection. In the third century, Hippolytus of Rome referred to these women as apostles, taking the message of the resurrection to the apostles and by extension to the entire church. Mary Magdalene is given prominence among the women. Mary Magdalene is always the first person that is named among the women, and she is pictured as taking the lead role in announcing the resurrection to the apostles. In John 2018, we are told that Mary Magdalene announced or informed to the disciples that I have seen the Lord. Now the word here for announce or inform is anglo, and it is related to the Greek word you angelo, which means to give the good news. You take the word announce, angelo, and you stick you in front of it, which means good, and you get to announce the good news. Pope Leo the Great referred to as Maria Magdalena, personum ecclesia gerens, a figure of the church. A century later, Pope Gregory the Great referred to as the second Eve. In contrast to the first Eve, she announced life, not death. This tells us something very important about the historical veracity of the biblical accounts. If the authors wanted to really establish the credibility of Jesus' resurrection, they would have wanted to use men as the primary witnesses. Josephus wrote, From women let no evidence be accepted because of the levity and temerity of their sex. Neither let slaves bear witness. One of the main criticisms leveled against the early church by their critics was the role that women played in the church and perhaps most especially that women were the first witnesses to Jesus' resurrection. The fact that the women were the first witnesses to Jesus' resurrection would have been utter foolishness and poppycock to any educated person during that time. In the third century AD, the church father Origen had to answer the charge that the whole idea of a risen Jesus was based on the testimony of a hysterical female. The fact that all four Gospels violate this very important cultural value and have women as the first witnesses indicate that this is what happened. Why include something that would undermine your whole argument if it didn't happen? It's like drinking decaf. You just don't go there.